done it. We've knocked out Akano. Okay, we can do this. We can tame Akano. Let's do it. Come on. Hey, what is going on, guys? It is Lachlan here, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Now, I haven't logged into the server just yet, and that is because Mr. Miola, he sent me a message on Skype, and he said, hey, you might want to record as soon as you log in because I've uh, done a little bit of a, a little bit of a troll. So I don't know what to expect. All I know is that uh, he said it's time to get revenge on those dinos you killed. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, hopefully, you guys, will go on to enjoy. And of course, like always, if you do enjoy the series, be sure to leave a like down below. Let's see what damage has been done. Really, Matt? You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna trap me in a cage? Really? Yeah, we just have uh, a nice little cage. Oh, we can get out. Easy bangers. Alright, the people have spoken. Enough is enough. Stop killing our dinosaurs. Dinosaur lives matter. <laughs> I'm sorry, Matt. That's why I try to keep taming them. He's mad that I keep killing the dinosaurs. I'm sorry. Alright, well, this is a good little place I can put people later. <laughs> I love the sign there. Wait, do I don't have a single item on me? Oh, he stripped me of all my items. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, Ah, oh. but yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure how to get out of here. Uh, there's spikes everywhere. I mean, it's like, oh, 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 our house is just down there. Um, but how do I get out? I think I have to kill myself. You win this time, Miola. You win this time. All right. And I will try to, if I kill a dino, I can go right back in here. Please don't put me back in there. I probably already killed the dino. <laughs> All right. Goals for this episode. Do not kill a dino. And second goal is to try and make another bed closer to this uh, like, one, I guess you could say. Uh, now, so, of course, if you guys didn't happen to catch the last episode, it was an absolute, uh, bang- Oh, here's a saddle just- How did a saddle just rock up on the shore? Oh, that's not a saddle, that is a fish who got spiked. Oh, what's going on over there? A triceratops! He's flying! Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! I think we need to put him out of his misery, he's a super trike! Look at him fly! <laughs> I always don't want to ruin it, because it's so beautiful. Oh my god, it's amazing. Anyway, welcome back home. I kind of want to put Miola back up there just for bands. Uh, now, does he have my items? It doesn't look like he does. Let's see what he's up to. He's level 25 right now. Of course, I missed an episode yesterday. I had a Who's Your Daddy go out. I'm trying to stick to daily guys, but it is hard because I am kind of grinding for Florida as well at the same time. He's still wearing cloth equipment. He didn't take my stuff, did he? Oh, he's going Trank Arrows. I do want to get crafting on some Trank Arrows this episode, if I can. Uh, now, he normally puts my stuff in one of these chests. He took all the wood out of here that I chucked in a while ago, and that'll do. See, so, yeah, if you guys didn't see it last episode, we encountered an Alpha Raptor. Uh, we didn't really say hi to him, and he didn't really kill us. He nearly did though it was very very stressful environment don't want to put myself in that again today but i probably will oh we also got a rex egg which i'm not sure if Miel has done anything with it i left it in the fridge it's still here it's got another 77 days to go so we'll just leave it here for now um he's been mijo berry hunting or at least trikey has been um you guys were telling me that i need to use trikey on a tree to actually get him to do stuff so duly noted uh we'll try to do that um let's level up right now though. let's level up so i'm gonna go for the I almost want to go crafting speed because I was looking up a couple of guides on how to get XP and they say crafting is one of the best ways and I could just sit there and craft stuff all day, chuck it in there and I don't know, it could be a, a decent one. I don't really want to go any more weight. I think I might go melee damage or movement speed. Um, I'll go for melee damage for now. Why not? And then we've got 52 ingram points. So let's see what we can learn now from the level 20 that we just got. So there's a lot of stone stuff that we can learn. Uh, Bookshelf. A large bookshelf to store blueprints, notes, and other small trinkets in. I need to have a large storage box. Trank arrows. Definitely want to learn these. Got to go ahead and learn them straight away. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I'm not too sure what I want to go ahead and learn. He's already learned the preserving bin, so I'm not going to go ahead and learn that because there's no point. Um, the tripwire alarm sounds pretty good. I think I might, when I tee up with him, get the refinery saddle uh, to try and maximize efficiency here. I might learn the window frame because I actually want some windows. Yes, let's get that. Uh, stone foundation, let's get that because I might just build a bunch of stone foundations and try to get some XP. A lot of these are unlearned because I need to learn wooden ceilings and whatnot. So I'm going to go back and learn... Uh, wooden wall sign. Okay, yeah, let's learn that just to upload the um, upgrade to the next ones. Oh, people are saying get a spyglass. I'll go ahead and learn that. Gravestone. Simple, unorned student headstone to mark a grave or commemorate a loved one. Oh, I should put one back where all the diners died. Um, as far as that goes, I can't really think of anything else I need. I feel like if I say I'm going to be productive, Murphy's Law is going to come in and it's going to be like, ha, got him, and I'm just going to be the most unproductive person ever. Um, so yeah, we'll learn that. Uh, screw it, let's learn a painting carvers. What's the worst that can happen? I'm mainly learning most of these so that I can get the upgrades for them later on. And now we are out of points to spend. So, 
We need to level up. He's still got this monkey here, but he doesn't level him up. What are you doing, dude? I don't, I don't want to mess with him because uh, maybe he doesn't want him leveled up. I don't know, but I'm leaving there. You should level him up, Miola. Stop being so cruel to your animal. I want to go ahead and try to tame a really, really crazy animal, uh, mainly to fight with and hopefully tame a lot of uh, raptors as well. Really love to try and go ahead and try to tame some raptors. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll take a slingshot with you just in case the other one breaks. But I'd love to get into the habit of using uh, trank arrows. So um, I think we might build some to start things off for today's episode. I think he took all my arrows, that little cheeker. He did. He did. He took all my arrows. Damn it. Why you, why you do this, Miola? You took me arrows. Oh my god, this trike is still doing that for crying out loud. I'm gonna check Trikey to see. Actually, let's just check up with the squad in general. Um, so we got Rap God the Third. That's his Raptor. Uh, then we got Charmander, of course, ours, and he's got some levels to go up. So let's go ahead and we'll check one of movement speed because we use you for a lot of walking, and we'll go melee damage as well because why the fudge not? And uh, he is leveled up to 31. Keep at it, boy. Keep at it. Keep at it, Charmander. Even you're, you're not even orange or anything, but you're Charmander. Uh, Trikey, how about you over here? Let's go ahead and up your. I'm just gonna get melee damage, honestly, and a little bit of health. You can be our tank in any situation, really. And you haven't done anything apart from farm thatch, so I'm gonna try and actually get you to follow me for a second here. Uh, so enable wandering and T follow one. So Trikey, follow me, and somehow I have to like, use him against a plant or something for him to him to craft stuff or something. Like, how do I how do I get him to Come over here. Come over here, buddy. Apparently, I just ride it and then click on plants like as if I'm attacking. Wow. Okay. Yeah. This guy knows how to farm. This, I was going to go ahead and do this myself, but wow. I, this is crazy. This is mad. But yeah, this is actually a really productive way to gather a lot of berries. Kind of crazy like. Oh, and he'll chop a tree down as well. I didn't know they could do stuff like that. I guess that's what you do. You ride the beaver and then let him just chop down trees. But I, we saw the beaver passively taking down things and this guy's got a lot of weight that he can carry as well so we as well farm out this whole field chuck most of those berries look at that 108 berries oh my days okay let's have a look we'll take those mijo berries uh we will take those narco berries the big ones i've still yet to have someone tell me what the hell um that that stuff does over there but I have no idea. Oh, actually, I want to grab that spoiled meat out. Yeah, I already did. Perfect, because we're going to make some narcotics. So, spoiled meat, narco berries, and let's go ahead and craft all 14. 14 tranquilizer arrows should do just fine. And in this episode, we can actually go ahead and tame a pterodon. Now, you need to be level 35 or 25 or 30 or whatever to get the, um, the saddle for it. So... I guess I'll have to wait for Meol. He's ahead of me in the XP game right now. Alrighty, so there we go. We have 14 narcotics done and dusted. We'll take away the spoiled meat and the narco berries for now. Um, I'll chuck them in here as well as with the mijo berries because they're obviously awesome for taming and whatnot. And uh, I guess I'll cook. Them. Actually, no, I'll chuck the spoiled meat in there because, I mean, you're underestimating it, but it is good for making the narcotics and whatnot. And that should be enough tranquil arrows to last me for a while. So I'm okay with that. We'll chuck that one more raw meat in there as well so if i want to do this to load this apparently if i just drag and drop here it'll load it yeah and there we go tranquilizers oh, boys now apparently for most animals it only takes one hour to uh oh hello hello pterodon did you want to be i don't know if i can make that shot dude Let's get up on this rock over here and try and aim for a shot come on <gasps> there's my chance you kidding me? Oh, I got him! Oh, I got him over the second shot. That was MLG as fudge. Okay. Hello, buddy. How are you? You're level five. Okay. Um, what do you need? What do you need? Do you need berries? We got berries. We don't have berries. Holy shit. Just stay right there. We're gonna get berries. Get the freaking berries! Go, 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 go! Oh, and we'll take that right back out because he is a meat eater. So we're gonna top up his torpor and we're gonna go grab a... I think I already got narcotics on me, but we're gonna grab raw meat. Hopefully there's still some in the... Uh, uh, I guess I can kill something really quickly, like a fish or something, and grab some raw meat. Alright, so let's see. His food's dropping, which is good. If I chuck him this down, how quickly are you going to tame, buddy? Oh, that's not too bad at all. Oh, look at you. You're adorable. You're going to be the best pterodon I've ever seen. Alrighty, well, there we go. You have tamed a pterodon. Pter yeah, I guess a pterodon makes sense. And uh, we're going to name him. I bet. I wonder how many people have done this, but we're going to name him Aerodactyl. I'm sorry. I named everything a Pokemon, but like, there we go. Aerodactyl. He's level 7. Okay, cool, cool. So, uh, Aerodactyl, you should be safe here. All the other dinos will back you up, including Rap God the third. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and ride this. See, look, we tamed an animal and it didn't die. Where's my appreciation for that one?
But yeah, either way, I want to go ahead and try to find some more raptors to tame. I think they could be really, you know, beneficial to the squad if we can just get so many of them. And uh, then maybe look at taking on alphas. But, uh, I mean... <laughs> We're not taking on alphas anytime soon. Let me just reassure you with that one. Oh, there's a green beacon just down the river. Okay, we're gonna get to that one. Go, go, go. Oh, it's right in the middle. Oh, and there's some uh, stuff over there. It looks like a Rex, a Carno. It's a Carno. Ah, uh, they're gonna knock him out, I think. You guys have fun over there. Honestly, it's being really glitchy and I don't really care. I want the green one and guess what? The green one's disappeared. Sick. All right, it says here that if I was to get a Carno, it would take a level one, four arrows, and or 15 total slingshots. So if I was to get some stone here, and do I not have any stone in me at all? I don't. If I was to get some stone, I can maybe give one of these carnos a run for their money. So let's craft some more trank arrows. If I can get four of them, I get, oh, how many have I got? Oh, something's hitting me. Fuck, what is it? Oh, it's a carno. What level, what level, what level here? We could maybe get this guy with a little bit of a glitch here. We need to ride, we need to ride, we need to ride. We need to ride. We need to drive and ride. All right, we're driving. We're driving and we're leaving you alone. Is that a Kano on the river? It's a Stego. It's fine. All right, Charmander, stay right there. Don't worry. Don't worry, Charmander. Don't worry. Come on. Come on. Come on, he's juking the shite out of these. Oh, no, now I've got real issues. Now I'm out of rocks again. All right, he's low. I've got to bail for this one. I need more rocks. Oh, no, he's going for the piranhas right now. Piranhas are giving him a good run. Charmander! Help me! Jesus, Charmander! Crying out loud took you long enough. Oh, yeah. Cheers, Charmander. You really did great there. Alright, as long as the Karno's job's getting hard in here. That's all I care about. And he should be close, but his Torpor is probably maxed out right now. Let's go, bitch. Let's go. Don't die, Charmander. Come on. Yes! Stop! 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 We've done it! We've knocked out a Kano. Okay, we can do this. We can tame a Kano. Let's do it. Come on. We need this. All right. Come on now. Okay, that was the most stressful organization of anything, but we can do it now that he's done. It was 31 of those to knock him out, but we had some Trank Arrows. It's nine Trank Arrows total. We can do this. We can tame ourselves a Kano. Oh, yes. I'm so excited for this. We need one of these bad boys. All right. So the big thing is that we need to try and get some other pieces of meat to keep this guy um, kind of established. Either way... I want this guy on the boat. Actually, I want to bring the boat closer for an emergency exit. But I'm scared I may need some more narcotics. Because this guy, I feel like, is a big thing to hold down. Okay, so taming's not that bad for this guy, actually. So that's interesting. But we need some meat. Fishies, fishies, fishies. Fishies are probably the best one to go about. Actually, I guess while I'm waiting, I want to craft that spyglass thing. Because it is actually really handy. And a lot of people are telling me to build it. And I can see the reason why. Uh, let's have a look. Should be at the top here somewhere. There it is. Spyglass. So to make this, we're going to need crystals. Where should we get crystals from? In a cave somewhere? I've never seen crystals. All right. Well, that... You know, dream lived pretty long. Not very long. Um, I guess on the side, let's level up movement speed. I don't know. Yeah, let's go movement speed. Why not? And uh, level 21. No engrams that I really want to learn just yet. I might learn that preserving bin for later because I want to preserve more stuff. But uh, I'll leave it as at the moment. If there's anything really important that you guys think I should build, let me know. And uh, we'll get on it. Actually, I'm going to keep hitting these beetles because they're such good XP. Um... I don't know, it was just one of the top comments I remember seeing for like a video. It was just like, hit one of the beetles, and then they'll just keep coming for you. Knock out a beetle and tame a beetle, that'd be great. Alright, so there we go, watch. I've killed one. Let's see how long it takes for the rest to come. Ready? Hello, beetles. Where are you? Seriously, where are you? Is that a car? That's a track. Yeah, it's just like backing up. Alright, so let's see what's along this coastline. Uh, just to have a look, I guess. Just see what's going on. Beaches are always the safest parts. Big dinosaur over there. Uh, looks like a raptor over there. I can't really tell what the fudge that is. Looks like some kind of raptors. Weird raptors. Very weird raptors. Oh! Hello! You, you took a while, but you finally got her, dudes. Alrighty. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright, uh, you've been poisoned. Your stamina is decreased. I don't care. Apparently with this one, you just look up to fight these guys. That's the tips. That's all the tips they give. You just look up. And they did. And lots of things to resource gather as well. Oh, look at those two dinosaurs over there. And those weird whatever the fuck they are. They're not raptors. They look like carnivores, though. I guess I might as well fill in the blanks while I'm looking here as well. But it says here that Chintin is used for the Chintin set. There's a Chintin set of armor. 
which should be pretty defensive, I would imagine. And then the Pterodon Saddle, so you need it for that. Uh, then another saddle that starts with an A. Cementing Pace, interestingly enough. Blood Extraction Syringe and Scuba Flippers and Silencer Attachment. And this guy is not too far away from being tamed. Now let's, I'm going to have a look and see where you get crystals. And with crystals, I guess I was pretty much bang on the buck there. They are found in caves, and most of those caves are on the northern side of the island, although there is a small deposit somewhere on the southern isles. So I might have to go ahead and try to hunt that down. But, uh, yeah, it seems to be very rare as well. So I think Miola's already found it because he has a spyglass, so I have to hit him up, maybe do for a... Maybe go for a little bit of crystal adventure next episode. Okay, so I've been waiting around a bit, and I think it's just about to happen. It looks like his taming is just good enough. I hope I don't have to wait another piece of meat. But uh, he should be eating, I think, I think it uh, eats at every 50. I'm not too sure when he starts to eat it. I haven't really, you know, eyeballed it too much. I've just sat next to him and protected the area, which has been pretty safe. There hasn't been much going on. But hopefully, this should be enough. I don't want to waste another narcotic on it as well. So if you could just please go ahead and eat it right now. Chomp, chomp, chomp. There we go. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. You have tamed our carnivore. All right, what should we name him? I'm going to name him... I, if I, I seriously got to stop naming them all Pokemon because if this was a Pokemon, I'd name him Tauros because of the horns. I'm going to name him Barney the Dinosaur because he looks like Barney the Dinosaur with the purple. It, it doesn't look like him at all, but just for bands, we're going to name him Barney. All right, Barney, come home. And it looks like he didn't name it to you. Yeah, you did. You're Barney. Oh, how's it going, mate? How's it going? Sorry, dude. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, try and get turned level 25, Barney. Oh, boy. Smiola's not going to... Oh, wow, you are kind of huge. Okay, uh, now, this might be a bit of a problem, but do you think you could get on by any chance? Like, do you think you were able to maneuver yourself in a way that you would be able to get on the craft? Do you think you're able to do that? I think you're on it right now, actually. Let's have a look at that weight option. Uh, no, I need you, to, need you to come forward just a couple steps, mate. Oh, that's perfect. Yep, just chill right there. All right, you know what? Right there, Barney. Don't move at all. And then Charmander, alright, Bonnie and Charmander, let's come on over here. You can jump on the rock. Now, I think this does have a weight limit, so let's see if we've reached that weight limit. Wow, we haven't. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know a time where I have actually gone out. I'm just going to go ahead and make sure to make these guys neutral so they don't attack anything on the way in. But yeah, look at this. Last episode, we were running from Akano. Now we're bringing one home. This is a productive episode, if I had to say so at least. We got a Pterodon, and we got ourselves a Kano, a.k.a. Barney. The dinosaur. I'd love to sick him on Vic just for all time's sake. Because that's like what Vic was like. And when Vic first died, he was complaining so much because the Carno kept giving him so he kept giving him so so bad bad starts to the series. Look, that that that's what the Carno did to his house. <laughs> it made it very bannable. Okay, and they're both finally home. Come on, Barney the dinosaur. Let's bring it in. Let's go. Raise them bulls, buddy. And welcome to the squad of animals here at uh, the reserve. I don't give a shit. Who the fuck is trying to come in here? They ain't getting nowhere. Plus a Trike, an Aerodactyl, Charmander, Barney, and let's not forget Rap God the third, level 43 Raptor. But I'm pretty sure Barney will do most of the damage. Oh my god, look at his hands! Look at his cute little hands! Well, I guess on that note, guys, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up the episode right there. I hope you guys did go on to enjoy it. If you guys did, be sure to let me know with a like rating down below. And I hope you guys, hopefully guys, hopefully guys throw it with a brand new episode. Later, guys.